Met kaka. Met kaka. Je suis met kaka. What's that? <laughs> met kaka won't mean master poo. One of the real pleasures of my job is taking shit. I think I enjoy it more than most people. You almost have it as muesli. You almost eat it. You were sat at home thinking of what you was going to do for a living, and you were sat at home, all you thought about was other people's poo. That makes you quite a strange character, in my opinion. Way back when I said, look, you know, this is going to go far. I'm going to take this around the world and join me. Join me in the poo revolution. And they were like, no, no, we'll join you in the poo regulation. Just get this done. Here? Yeah. We care about our poo here a lot. Well, the, the rave reviews we've had, I mean, everyone seems to be to be happy with the facility, so. What's a bit of poo at the end of the day? Do you think that, that it's to do with poo? Or do poop you think... is, is where it's at in the future, by the way. You know, everyone's talking about water today. Poop, we're, we're, we're ahead of the curve. Poop is the next big thing. I didn't invent composting toilets in any way. I'm just putting it in a very high profile situation, showcasing success and not allowing people to ignore it. Joking about it and getting people chilled out about it is all part of, you know, breaking down that barrier. And so we use humour a lot, we use artwork, and we use fundamental change of technology to create a really ultimately pleasant and enjoyable place to be. We've thought about a few other things, perhaps people could text us and we'd bring them coffee and newspapers. Take a shit, take a shit for free, all you gotta do is sit with me. Come on, take a shit for free, sit inside here with me. One cup, of cover it up, oh one cup, cover it up. When you do a poo in the loo, cover it up, oh one cup, cover it up, one cup, cover it up. A more developed society is one that has got pipes in the ground that bring in perfect drinking water to your home so you can shit into drinking water and then have that drinking water be a transportation system to take your turds away from your bottom and make them disappear. Bing! Really magnificent. Smells fantastic, actually. By studying toilets at festivals, you can make the link between a festival and uh, a refugee camp to uh, mass domestic situations like a city. If you squint your eyes and you imagine that the festival, you can't hear the music. You've got a refugee camp. Out of the blue, Patricia Arvkett contacted me on Facebook. Hello. Hello, Patricia. Would you like to talk about poo? You would. Great. I was flown to Haiti and the journey was 63 hours. Okay, they're pulling apart. Okay. Hey, we should get in here. If you treat water alone, you only save 20% of the kids' death by diarrhea. Or if you treat poop, then you um, save 40% of the kids' death by diarrhea and it's less likely to get back into their water table. This is not cool, there's some flies. People deserve better than having that smell. We have a smell. Okay? I'm almost it, it's, 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 I wanted to throw it up. There's a solution other than this. 
uh, to, to, to make the, the shit of the people uh, become compost. Human excrement that is converted through a thermophilic process into safe, nutrient-rich soil. Master Poo. Tell them where do you come from? Uh, I come from Australia. in Australia. And I've come here to help teach uh, composting toilets for the for the children and the adults of City Solo. So this is just a very basic pit latrine. The kids are saying that they don't like this toilet because it stinks. But we're going to make them happy with some composting toilets. So we'll help them with doors, with colour, with good toilets.